I want to throw that sucker. That's Big Daddy. Jay, oh Jay wasn't going to miss this part. No, I am not missing you're, this. You're the one that has to kiss this guy. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> you ready? I'm waiting. Hey, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Be loud, be loud, be loud. So what's up guys? <laughs> so what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go down there, subscribe, ring the notification bell and like this video. So today we drove back to Arkansas to hang out with Cole and Jay, but unfortunately Jay is not with us. It's just Cole today. We got we're gonna do some videos with Cole. Cole Harkin from the YouTube channel, Cole and Jay. Uh you guys are familiar with Cole if you've been with us for very long. We've been over here before. Cole and Jay came over to our place last year. Yeah, we're just swapping back and forth each and every year. Yeah. And, uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. We got these bad boys. You ever used one of these before? Nope. I've done... Uh... We ran some limb lines in our, in our creek on the, at the, the very mouth up towards the lake and stuff. But not, it's been a couple summers. We didn't do it last year. We didn't have any rain. We were in a drought and it just out in the lake. We don't have what you guys hear with all the cypress trees. So... Yeah, this is about the most surefire way to catch some catfish out here, especially this time of year. So we have about 40 lines on this thing, probably 30. I don't know how many we have, but we have about 60 fish in our line where we can bait these guys up on these trees and hopefully trying to catch a big flathead catfish. I think let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> so we were just talking, and I, I'm fairly certain Houston's never caught a flathead, much less a big flathead. It's the goal. I mean, we're using, we're using big hooks on these limb lines with some big live bait. He's got a bunch of green sunfish in the live well. The goal is to catch some big flatheads. And I don't think Houston's ever caught a big flathead. Uh, outside of, you know, a seven, eight pound channel cat, really he hadn't caught too many big catfish. We're just not uh, not big catfish guys, I guess. And the other day, a while back, uh, Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm was giving us a hard time because we eat channel cat. And he's like, you throw them things back, they're nasty. I'm like, you're crazy, man. I love to eat channel cat. It don't bother me. I think they're delicious. They taste just fine. But hopefully we're gonna put some big flatheads even some small flatheads i don't care i love to eat catfish period i want some fish how about you yeah i do too i think that regardless of what species we catch they're gonna be big because we're using the big bait we got the big hooks and we're out here in an area that holds big fish so cold guaranteeing big fish you heard that right i didn't guarantee <laughs> wrong box cole said he had like 60 green sunfish there's a zero in there Oh yeah, there's plenty over here this year. Some big old green sunfish for bait. We're gonna pull up to all these different little cypress trees and start hanging hanging some lines on some limbs, Houston. Yeah. There's flimsy enough. Flimsy flimsy branches there, the good ones. Yeah, flimsy branch is what keeps the fish fighting, Houston. Yeah. Yeah. Gives him something to pull against. That's kind of using an ugly stick. It's hard to uh hard for the fish to shake loose because it's always maintaining pressure. That's a big one. Yeah. A big boy. We're hooking them right below the dorsal fin just so we don't like damage them too crazy. You stick them through the eyeballs or through their back, they kind of get paralyzed. You want these fish to be lively. Then just kind of struggling down there. I want to tie the flathead from a long ways away. I like to think that every tree has its own flathead living under it. <laughs> so well, hopefully we'll have one come up to this tree. This is a good tree. We've caught well, a lot of fish off this one. The tree is about to have a boat on the side of it is what I like to believe Yeah, sometimes. you know, that's kind of what happens when you go flathead fishing in a bass boat. <laughs> Hey, you know what else is out here on this lake? Fish. Frogs, alligators. A big lizard. Big lizard. Yeah. A big lizard. Cole got proof several months we, ago. It was last saw, fall, wasn't it? It was, it was last summer in June, so like a year ago. We saw, big alligator. When we were here, we saw one. One thing we got to watch out for is wasp nests. Do you need bait, sir? I need bait, good sir. Preferably a good bait that catches fish. If you have one. Can you of guarantee one of those? Um, I don't know. This one looks like, I'm gonna say, it looks know. like perfect for about a, a nine pound flathead. Ooh, I love nine pound flatheads. I love, I don't, I like, I like bigger than that. Like, does somebody freaking drop the bomb? Drop, drop the, the bomb? bomb on me, baby. Houston's getting scared of the clouds. I'm not getting scared of them. I didn't say that. 
I didn't say that. What did you see? I'm just saying it's kind of like... You're a little concerned oh. about the... Oh, there's a nest. Cobalt fell I, out of the boat. I about got got. There's a kingbird nest right here. She's Wait. about to come get me, too. There she is. <laughs> Look at the eggs. Oh, there's eggs? Yeah. Yep. You're a little too short. I'll be quiet. See? Oh, yeah. Yep. I've got a I've got a biologist buddy, bird bird biologist buddy. And he's been telling me to find some kingbird nests for him. So there you go. You take a pic of There's it. one. There's one. We found it. He said I'm only gonna come hang out with you if you find me a kingbird nest. Well, there you go, Alex. Well, you better set up. You gotta hang out with me now. You better set up pinpoint so you know where it's at. If my wife was here, she'd be taking pictures. It's like magic hour, sunset. Yeah, it's very beautiful out here. The weather's perfect. Got some giant thunderstorm clouds in the background. And hopefully, some big flatheads eating our bait right now, Houston. Yeah. This is my kitchen 20 pounder. I will eat a crappie nibble. No, not a nibble. A crappie nibbles. A crappie nibble. I, don't, I just want to eat just one. It's a, it's a slab Five. bite. It's a slab bite. Not a crappie nibble, technically. Okay. A slab bite. I'll take one bite of a slab bite if you get your 20 pounder. What about a one pounder? His scale only goes up to 19, though. I got a scale goes up to 100. <laughs> Legend? Yeah. Legendary tree, huh? This is a legendary tree. Five. There's probably been 500 pounds of flathead caught this tree. Is that around lines out here? This is a good one. Okay, look at it. Look at the base of it. See, it's like a double big base. The fish out here like it. It's probably an old man out here that'll get mad and run you off of it, too. No. Nope. Tonight. <laughs> All right, little green sunfish, do your job. We got about 900 different lines baited. Not 900. <laughs> okay, 9,000. According to Houston, it felt like 900, I think. 9,000. He thinks we've been out here baiting lines for two hours or something, but... It's only been an hour. I don't know. We're fishing. I don't keep up with time when I'm fishing. Yeah, we're going to drive past them and make sure we don't already have a sneaky catfish on there, but they, I feel like the catfish out here, they bite around 9.30. 9.30. No, 9.30. It's not Houston's bedtime. No. <laughs> nice hat. Where'd you get that at? Yeah. You can't see it. Houston forgot to bring a hat. We're on a three-day fishing trip and he didn't bring a hat. Listen. Had to borrow one from his old dad. I had one. It's just I forgot it at my brother's house. Well, we got all our lines set up. We went ahead and loaded the boat. And uh, we're going to wait a couple hours. So Cole wanted to hit up this local restaurant called Taylor's Made. I have no idea what they serve, but he said it's good. Is it going to be? You're starving. It's like 9 o'clock. We hadn't even had supper, huh? Yeah. Reckon they got any catfish in here? Probably. In case we don't catch any? I guess so. <laughs> I bet we catch some catfish in that, though. Well, I was going to uh, show them how our food was because I said we were coming to eat at this restaurant. Cole said it was amazing. While we waited on our catfish to bite, I forgot. Cole's still eating. All he's got is uh, onion rings and french fries. Yeah, I eat the main stuff first. Usually I do it backwards. I eat the french fries and all my sides first, but I just went straight for the kill tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm not messing around. We had fried catfish though, didn't we? Yep, and we're going to have ca fried catfish for breakfast in the morning. Oh, you think so? For breakfast? For bis with biscuits. We did last time Cole came to the house. We did do a fish biscuit. Yeah. It was, it was pretty good. Yeah. Surprisingly delicious. With some honey on it? I don't, Houston, I don't think he was really convinced about it at the time. He was not. I wasn't convinced about it at the time. But now you're like, oh, it was delicious. Yeah. Uh-huh. Houston, how do we know where to find our lines, man? <laughs> we, we just ride with Cole. Cole knows where they're at. Yeah. They're over there. Well, you got to go up this way and around then. You go around. Yeah. Over there somewhere, huh? They call me the shirt butt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's little, little Jimmy's still on there. Cool Jimmy's still on there. Little Jimmy's still on there. Okay. I don't think that's little Jimmy. I think, it's, I think that's a, I think it's a that's Long John Silver out there. Long John Silver. I don't know, maybe it's our little fish. Find out, Houston, what you got? Is it still heavy? Oh, I haven't got to it yet. 
I'm not saying no. Oh, it's just full guy. All right, just drop it back down. False alarm. Yeah, he, he's got a burst of energy. <laughs> Maybe he was running from something, Houston. I don't know. Fish. Uh, I want to take 30 lines to find one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you run a mega spread, because you never know where they're going to be at. You said we were here for quality over quantity, yeah. and then y'all are complaining because we didn't have enough. I know. I was just yeah. like, <laughs> I was stressing, dude. It's been like 30 lines, and we haven't had a bite, and normally you get at least some channel cats, and I think that this is probably a channel cat, by the way. It's bouncing, but you never know. And it's crazy. Like These two are like consecutive trees right by each other. Well, when you fish where the fish are, you oh, catch the fish. Oh, a tree shaker. Did you hear me? What? I said, when you fish where the fish are, you catch more fish. Yeah, that's true. Pull it slow. Whoa. What do you got, Houston? Oh, he's ripping. Oh, a channel cat. Flip him in the boat. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a big flathead there, Houston. No. That's all right. We can do one of two things. We can either throw him in the live well or we can... Well, I guess we can't legally throw them on there for bait. That big old flathead. I caught a flathead one time and it had a channel cap like this big in its tummy. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? But we're on the board. Yep. That'll work. One's better than zero. That's right. And we're, we're early. We still got to run these again. And I'm soaked with water. <laughs> yeah. You got to put him in a live well. You got to put him on this side. The other side's got all our bait. Get another bait. Use the net, Goober. I can catch one with my hands there. Okay. We're on the, we're on I the guess. Red. I know, I saw you. We're on the red line pattern. Alright, maybe this tree's lucky. I'll have to remember. One channel cat. That ought to be enough for at least four or five uh, fish biscuits, right? Yeah. That's right. Hey, you remember there's one to our right that has fish in it? Yeah. Boat flips only, man. Oh, gosh. No, I'm not How's he feel? How's he feel? It feels like a fish. Oh, get him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty anticlimactic. Yeah. Anti <laughs> not complaining about the size of your fish, Houston, but uh, he's a little guy. <laughs> we're back we are i did not have the most successful night last night we're gonna have a much better morning right yes. we so we only caught two small channel cat last night but uh, we weren't expecting a huge spread of fish we just put them out you know an hour before dark and then ran back and checked them about 10 last night so we're hoping this morning we'll have a bunch of big flatheads on the line and if not i bet we can go find something else to catch Awesome. Awesome. That looks like a fish. Get him, dude. Oh. Oh, it's a... What the... <laughs> you caught a drum, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's awesome. Where's Captain Ron when you need him? It's a little different than the black drum in salt water, but... Yeah. That's a pretty good size one, though. Where are you going? I've never... I've never caught one of these fish. Well, you're... You're, you're missing out. You'll probably catch one on rod and reel today, too. <laughs> you're missing out. I can't believe you've never caught a drum. Houston. Yeah, that's a little reliable. That's kind of like, you know... That's not my fault. That's his fault. Those guys that go out to the beach and they catch those whiting, it's kind of like they're all reliable. This is our old reliable. Yeah. <laughs> drum eats everything, Houston. They're just kind of like trash fish. Yeah, because these guys don't taste good. They're just the same family as redfish, but they do not taste like redfish. Oh, that'd be awesome, wouldn't, wouldn't it? it? Could be? you imagine if, I, that, if that was... The equivalent of a redfish. I know. I've cooked them all different sorts of ways. I just can't. I just can't get it. Their <laughs> texture is not very good. They're okay. I mean, you, they're edible. They're not the worst thing, but not the best. This thing being sneaky. I didn't think there was fish on this thing the whole time we were kind of doing. I was like, dang, we ain't got nothing. He's a sleeper. He's a sleeper. Yeah. Come on, Houston. Probably forty pounds. Oh yeah. Well, I've been here. How about you put him in the boat, Houston? I was trying. Good okay. grief. 
in the boat, man. I was trying. Yeah. Another little channel cat. Nice one, too. Fish sandwiches, fish tacos. Yeah. <laughs> Can't beat that right there. No. Now we got three of them bad boys. That's mine right there. <laughs> I, I think Cole that. flipped it in the boat. No, I'm not a female here. He was here walking back. Really. And it's like sticking to the troll motor. It's like, oh, listen, well, you gotta go straight up and over. <laughs> Never know. Oh, it's a nice channel. Yeah. In the boat. There's a big one. There nice channel, cat. Houston. Thanks. That's what we're after. Give me some, buddy. <laughs> oh. Well. It's no 40 pound flathead, but. No. It'll eat. Yeah. In the box you go, kitty cat. You almost missed. Listen, he hit me with this fin really hard. Before we go, we're just pulling. Because if it's a flathead, you can't, you can't eat them in the boat like Captain Ron. Captain Ron. <laughs> I said Captain. Captain. It's <laughs> Captain Ron, that's right. No, Captain it's El Capitan. It's El Capitan, Dad. Let me get you back in there closer. Yeah, I got it. Oh, he was so suspicious. Dinks. Houston and his dinks. <laughs> Daniel and his no fish. <laughs> he was snagged up. You see that? That's why he was fighting so hard. Oh, you, didn't even, you didn't even hook him in the mouth, Houston. I didn't. He missed it when he went for it. That's why it looked weird. He was able to get a little bit of extra leverage and pull weird. That's not a bad one, though. In the box you go. No flatheads today. Well, we got we got we got five channel cat. Yeah. Yeah. Still enough for lunch, man. Yeah, my yeah. guess was ten off. No, we all. We well, your all... guess was fifteen with nine flatheads. Yeah. Yeah, we went through the motions. We we gave it a good run. Had an awesome spread, awesome bait. It just wasn't in the cards. We're a little late in the season. Normally, the flatheads bite in this area in like April and May. You know, we're at the beginning of June. I've heard people catch them out here in June, but it's tough. Could have gone either way. We could have caught five flatheads or. Could call five channel catfish today. Channel cats. We'll take it though. You, you just look really excited. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's too early for you, huh? Kind of. Let's wait till we eat them. Did you do it? Hey, what'd you call me? You look bored. Well, since we were done catfishing at like 8 30 this morning we decided to head out and hit one of cole's honey holes here one of his spillways if you watch cole and jay's channel <laughs> or check them out if you haven't go check them out cole and jay youtube facebook mostly youtube but uh they hit these spillways like this behind these lake dams and catch a ton of crappie the other day he was at this one i watched video he was catching crappie striper sand bass everything and uh today nah, it's not happening. It's like a few little bluegill here and there. He's caught a couple of little small bass. He's trying every little tactic we can think of to try to catch fish, but just not much biting out here today. He came off again. Oh, well, go to the right. You're going to get tangled up in yours. Well, we decided to switch it up, give up on the spillway, on the dam. Uh, you know, that's Cole's secret spot, so he brought us to his next secret spot. It's supposed to be a bluegill hole. It's going to be the biggest bluegill you've ever seen. Yeah, buddy. He may look more like a catfish than a bluegill, but... Oh, my goodness, Houston. We're falling apart out here. <laughs> Houston's been hung up seven times, fell on the rocks. Hope Cole has some decent line on that little rod. You bet. Two pounds has... Yeah. 
<laughs> he wasn't done yet. Are you hung up in that tree? No, Not yet? Come on, Dad. Get up there, buddy. <laughs> pretty, pretty good catfish on that little bluegill hook. Yeah. <laughs> it sticks them. Spillway was nothing but a gar hole and some tiny little fish. We couldn't even catch a catfish like this up there. The water was just a little bit low. Um, I didn't expect for it to be that bad, but it just was. But the spot so far is painting out a little bit. Hey, little we, we can add that one to the mix for supper tonight. We definitely can. That's a nice fish. <laughs> I don't know what Cole's fighting this time. Houston and I can't catch anything apparently, but Cole's in the money spot over there. I had it, I had it blue that fell off the bank right he, next to the rock. And it was biting like a brim. He's either got a uh, it's gotta be a, turtle, a big right? snapping turtle or an alligator. It's gotta be a turtle, right? It's just kind of working its way back and forth. Oh, never mind. It took off then, didn't it? It's trying to keep out of its own line. I can go get it. Oh, there it goes. I think this is not a turtle. It was supposed to be the bluegill hole, but I think these guys came in here and ran the bluegill out of here. Woo! That's a big one. All right. Come Just like the last one, isn't it? Yeah, this one actually I think is a little bit smaller, but he's fighting a lot different. He took pretty good. On our tiny little bluegill hooks. That's right. Cat? No, it's a channel cat. Uh -oh. Come up in here to the shallows. You got pounce on it. You know, yeah. we, we fished all night to catch five just like that, right? Hey, I don't make the rules. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for five minutes that's and you already got called, two of them. That's why it's called fishing. You really just never know. Like, I fish out here all the time. I feel like I have these spots pretty dialed, but like, I'm, they're surprising me today. Yeah, that's a good one. Look how long he is. Yeah. Big old filet on that guy. You got two of these bad boys now. Get him, dude. Jerk it. Jerk it. Jerk it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was nowhere near as big as Cole's catfish, but that's what we expected to catch here, right? Yeah. We, were, we were expecting to catch both. We were hoping to catch a bunch of them. I'm pretty sure he swallowed it. Houston, I figured out why Cole's catching three times more fish than us. Because he has three times the number of rods. I got this one set up for you, Houston. <laughs> He's got three poles out over here. It's going to be a cluster if the wrong one catches a fish. Yeah. They're all going to be tangled and mixed up. I like the on the edge. Double? See? Perfect example. Look. No wonder he's catching more fish. Hey, you got another rod over there. You may want to watch I'm it too. Keep, keep <laughs> more rods, more bait, more fish. Oh, there he is. Catfish? Oh, my God. Is that a bass? It looks like a bass to me. Bass master. Here you go, Houston. Fish lap. Stop. Hey. Stop. Lick it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Ron and Kobe would say. Ooh. You're getting at the old Matrix twist over there, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, guys, y'all catching your little dinky bluegill. <laughs> You're catching you a little dinky bass. You're a dinky bass. And you're a dinky bluegill. Yep. Let's go. I don't know what we got. We got. Oh! <laughs> Good. I do. Who cares? Dude, wait out there. Someone put that boy. Oh my goodness. Dude, it looked like a shark. It did look like a shark. <laughs> he blew up big, didn't he? He looks so big. <laughs> Oh, he is big. Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing's head. Golly. Oh, my gosh. You ran to the bank. That thing is so big. <laughs> Walk that thing over here. Cole's going to noodle my catfish. Maybe. He's so big. I'm scared of this. There he goes. He's making a run again. That thing is so big. <laughs> <laughs> That's why there's no brim here. He's meeting them all. Yeah, he's got his belly full, probably. Hey, I'll do the one. Man, thank you. So if you would have caught that, I would have eaten the worm. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
He's wore out. He's, he's getting tired this time. Definitely spawning over here. Look at him. Where's the net? Oh gosh. Oh. Got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I need to. Good. 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 We gotta go to the Lick bank. It. <laughs> Lick it. Look how, yeah, I agree, but I mean, look how beat up he is. That is awesome. I thought they all bring them. They all bring them. I caught this. Mine eats that. <laughs> yeah, you caught a good one. He thinks you're good. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> yeah, look how beat up he is, man. I want to. I want to know which uh, which catfish bit into him like this. <laughs> That'd be a flathead. Man, look at the head on that thing. Yeah, he's a good one. Just wool up. That's a big old catfish. He's probably ten pounds, probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, he does not he have a lot of body mass to him for the size of his head, in my opinion. But. Mm -mm. Still a cool fish, man. Really big. Dark. <laughs> yeah, look, look at his look at his nose. It's just crazy. That big old mouth. That's an awesome catch. He just hit it just like those bluegill were though. He didn't really take off with it. Yeah, they pulled it down. Kind of like that one you were fighting earlier. I know. All right, Houston, your turn. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say we let this one go. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh. You know what I mean? Not you, but the other you. You gonna be all right, buddy. You're tough. Oh, I think he's gonna be just fine. Yeah, but I mean, look at the side. Look at his side. You see behind the fin and everything. Tanya, that's catfish biting on him. Somebody's been eating on him. He got in a flathead's holes. What he did, I bet you. See you, buddy. <laughs> that was cool. That was awesome, man. <laughs> I was just kind of in my own world, just not really paying attention, and he went. <laughs> Hold on to that sucker. That's Big Daddy. You good? You good? You're good. Starting to taste like a worm already, Houston. Oh. <laughs> what was that deal you made with Cole? Oh, if I catch a catfish, he has to eat a worm. Get that rod up. Yeah, just let him pull. Whenever he pulls. That's a nice one. Oh! Hey, uh. Go backwards a little bit. I don't mean to say this, but good luck with that worm. Ah, <laughs> you did it! <laughs> I did it! And you get to eat a worm too! Oh, he got Listen to him talking to you. He's burping. It's your hook. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really nice catfish. It literally, they literally bite like a bluegill. Here, come hold your fish. I don't, don't want to hold, hold your fish. Uh oh. Well, Houston, are we gonna keep that one or are we gonna throw it back? Well, we got a. Yeah, we, we have got, enough. Oh, yeah. Cole got a bass. <laughs> you think we got plenty for supper? Yeah. I think so. So there we go. <laughs> your dinky old bass. <laughs> I thought I had a catfish. <laughs> Your little dinky bass compared to mine. Hey, I guess the one that. Oh! Oh, I dropped him. Well, you let him go. I did. That was the plan, right? Yeah. Well, you did a good job. Oh, that was sick. It's majestic. Oh. Sorry, it's like the shape of it. That is a rock. Dang, good find, man. <laughs> well, it has like this little thing right there. It's got layers. Like an onion. It must be an ogre rock. Those ogres have layers. Well, we got a, a mixed bag of fish. We're gonna have uh, we're gonna have some some catfish and some bluegill for dinner, uh, and they're all channel cat in honor of Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm because he swears channel cat are no are no good to eat. That's crazy. Channel cat are so good. I know. I know. They're so good. Did I play baby sissy today? You did?
You're a good brother. What? It's all over but the frying. Look at that. <laughs> That's a lot of fish, we, guys. Hey, and we threw back probably the two of the biggest catfish. We did. <clears throat> we worked hard. Excuse me, that. I'm eating watermelon. I was eating watermelon. I'm choking <laughs> on it. So we caught five channel cat overnight. No flatheads. Mm -mm. We went back to a different lake today, mostly bluegill fishing, and ended up with five channel cat there. And the yep. biggest one that I threw back was way bigger than anything we caught on the limb lines or by far yeah but either way we got plenty of fish to fry up tonight we threw a couple back and yeah, uh, got some bonus bluegills too. oh yeah we got a oh, few bluegill oh, yeah. got and few... the bonus worm for him oh yeah. there was a deal made yeah and there's guts in it by oh, the way he's falling down uh we'll have to we'll have to take one of those to the team i, I told you if you caught one i'd do it so are you gonna let him batter and fry it or is he gotta eat it raw he just eat it raw Si, are you gonna help cook? Are you cooking for us over there? Yeah. Yeah? What are you cooking? Make some french fries? Or dino nuggies. Ooh. Put some dino nuggets? We can throw some dino nuggies in there. <laughs> the first drop, my man. It's kinda nice watching somebody else do the fish cooking because at my house, nobody else ever cooks the fish. I like, love it. I don't mind coming around here every once in a while and let somebody else do some fish cooking. Dinner and a show. Oh! I, was, I hit the dirt first. Oh, you hit the neighbor's tree. Well, it wasn't bad. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. That one didn't make it out of the yard. That's the best one I've hit. <laughs> Went over the fence, but or through the fence, but not into the water. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ankles are good. It's gonna taste a whole lot better than a worm. It's gonna taste way better. I might shoot the worm first, just to get that out of the way. Switched it up a little bit, went to an iron. Oh. Look at him go. Much better with the iron than the driver, huh? Yeah, I'm better with it. Mm. Looks just like home. A lot of brown fish. Not a whole lot of difference <laughs> in uh, Arkansas fried fish and hush puppies and fries and Oklahoma version. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's sizzling, like a hot fajita plate. We've got these guys. These are battered in a little bit of mustard and sloppy mama, and that's just regular fish fry. So yeah, he said he better. wanted some Cajun fried catfish yeah. i'm really not sure what he meant by that but we, we close enough best. we did our best do i really need a plate or i just use that i think i could just use that pan what do you think i don't really care <laughs> houston got to give us a little fish taste test now oh we're going for the cajun oh the cajun fried catfish first how is it let's see how it is how is it how is it good now try one that's just a regular batter and not cajun now keep in mind kevin from hidden heights farm this is all channel cat mm -hmm. and a few bluegill but we're eating channel cat right now and more than likely houston hasn't even washed his hands no i did i did no you did okay mm -hmm. how is it i like the cajun more you like the cajun yeah mm, no. i don't think it's gonna matter either way because i had a biscuit at seven we're 6:45 this morning, and nothing but a rice krispie treat, rice krispie treat, in between, and it is uh, it's 7 p.m. I'm starving. Let's eat. Cypress, we got some French fries. Yeah. I'm gonna get you a French fry. Get you a French fry. Fresh French fries. <gasps> Cooked it just for you. It's what you wanted, wasn't it? A yo-yo. It's a curly fry. It's not a yo-yo. So how'd you find you a french fry? Yeah. Yeah? Is it good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You gonna try some of that fish? You gonna eat the fish? He only wants the claws. Well, Here's that's that. okay. We'll eat the fish for him if he don't want it. Uh, no? No? Try it. Mm. <gasps> what? It's, it's good. good. We did this all for you. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Only for you, not Jay, not Cole. Hey, I, I, I kind of wanted to eat fish myself though. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a long day. That was. Started off at about 6.30 this morning. Ran, ran all those limb lines. Didn't catch any flatheads, but we caught a few channel cat. Yes. Then we went and hit one of Cole's hot spots at the spillway that normally produces tons of crappie and sand bass and all kinds of stuff. That was a bust. Yes. So finally we went out to the lake and caught a few catfish and a bunch of bluegill. Either way, I've got a full belly. A lot of fish was eaten. Yes. You know what didn't happen? Ah, uh, frog. You let Cole oh. off without eating nope. the worm. Nope, nope. Digging up a fresh one, huh? Oh, we got to come off. Oh. Jay, oh Jay wasn't going to miss this part. No, I am not missing you're, this. You're the one that has to kiss this guy. <laughs> not tonight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, this isn't a worm that came out of our nightcrawler box. Those got really hot and stanky and slimy and just rotten. So I got the pass on that. But this is a fresh one straight from the, the Colin Jay garden. I'm gonna do it. I'm, here we go. All organic. All organic. <laughs> That's probably some good protein right there. Yep. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You ready? I'm waiting. Hey guys, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ew. Oh, Stug was dirty. Because <laughs> <laughs> the worm Gross. <laughs> Your hand at this point. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh man. My word is my bond. You caught a catfish and I'm proud of you. I was trying to keep you in keep your head in the game all day. I knew if you just kept focused, kept casting, you're gonna catch one and you did it. It's all worth it. I do it again. Uh, I, I don't I don't know that I wanna Ugh. smell you anymore. <laughs> it's just a worm.